you love the Grinch? <laughs> he has been just screaming at the TV loving the Grinch so much. You are our baby, that is for sure. Trying to put James down for a nap. <laughs> the loudest yard work ever is happening right now. Okie dokie. The baby is sleeping. Actually, the clip that I took before was from his earlier nap that actually never really happened. Uh, but now he is sleeping. I am about to leave to go get my vaccine. We did not show much of Peter's experience over the weekend, so I am going to take you guys along with. My sister and Grant also went today, and they were in and out, so hopefully that'll be the same for me. This is such a nice jewel. The ceilings are so high, it's so fancy. Alrighty, so I am all checked in. I have my card already. So I did have to present my ID and insurance card. Um, it's not gonna cost me anything, but they will run it through my insurance because I have it. I also had to fill out a consent form. Peter did not have to do that, but that was something that I had to bring with just at this location. I don't know, maybe specifically because obviously Peter didn't have to. Um, and now I'm just waiting for them to call my name. I actually think I'm going to pick up some cheese pizzas for us. We are going to allow all of Friday to be more of um, a loose day and we've been having a taste for this. So home run and pizzas are coming home with me. Your boy and dad are going on a little afternoon walk while mom's getting her shot finished. I thought, you know what, I have 15 minutes left of the work day and it was beautiful out. It's kind of feeling the end of my, my work, work day, my Monday work day off. A little stroll with my little guy. Matching sunshades and everything. Alrighty, so I have just parked back at home. I did not have to wait at all. Peter had to wait 15 minutes, um, but I did not have to. We both did receive the Johnson & Johnson one dose. So happy that we were both able to get in appointments. It just like, I didn't realize like how monumental this would feel. You know, in all of our years of IVF, I don't think we ever showed a shot being administered except for on our Instagram. I know I put a little warning in. Um, it was just so, it felt like I was overcome with how monumental it felt. And they said I could film and I do want to just share this experience with all of you. Obviously, it is no secret that Peter and I have remained very active during the pandemic. Um, you know, those first couple of months, we truly were home. But then once things started opening up, we took all of the safety precautions. Um, but we understand that a lot of people have not had that same luxury as we have. Um, and to each their own, everybody has, you know, kind of had to take this on in their own way. Um, however, it still just feels, it just feels really good to, um, to be vaccinated, to have other people that we love feel comfortable to be around us now that we're vaccinated but I want to be totally transparent 
and share my experience. Like I said, I've, I've had many, many shots, <laughs> um, more shots than your average person does having gone through IVF. And um, that sucker, that sucker did hurt. But now it doesn't hurt. So I don't know, I just wanted to fully share my experience. Um, so yeah, what a relief. I am feeling very grateful. I am feeling, you know, the best way for me to describe it is that the looming cloud of COVID is like, it's moving away. And I, I've felt for a very long time that it's just felt like it was never going to leave. And so we are hopeful that that same sense of relief is washing over, um, washing over everybody and that you will get vaccinated and that if you have been vaccinated to leave it in the comments below um this this pandemic has certainly turned the world upside down in so many ways um we're hopeful people um we're we're hoping that this experience has truly changed people for the better has changed our perspectives has um opened our eyes and just has made made humankind a little bit more empathetic and um wow it's definitely definitely a big day we're more than likely gonna take the day easy peter had you know a decent reaction um we'll see i've been really hydrated today and so fingers crossed i'm not a big thank you to anyone who sent over tips and tricks to um i don't know for to help us make our vaccination experience successful and just all the encouragement that you guys have um have sent to but before before i meet up with peter i have to show you guys my awesome park job look at that i realized i have not drive since we moved here and i definitely haven't parallel parked in a long time and so i'm pretty proud of myself so we're just strolling down broadway i think there's an intelligentsia but i think we should come here to roebuck one of our pizza fridays locally pizza joint all right it got way too windy and then mom called and she's all she's already back and everything so we're gonna go to meet her at that bookstore that we've been hoping to go to and then maybe grab some food because i am hungry so here it is, Unabridged Books. I'm gonna meet with Sarah outside and then we're gonna head in there and check it out. Wow, wow. Oh, look who I found. I this whole little area, all kid stuff. We're gonna stop at this place next door, but it closed at four, so we'll have to come back. I'll also put their Instagram handle here. You can pause if you wanna learn more about it, but we really wanted to go in. Definitely in Chicago. Yeah, they actually do advertising to go drinks of that. We are off to the park. We have with Christina and the kids. Hopefully Jamesy Boy will take a nap. Yeah. He's been struggling extra today. Extra deodorant. Yeah, just think about him opening the room. Just a kid in this playground. The world is his to conquer. Alrighty, we have migrated to this Cubbies Park. 
this is another super cool park. Did you see it's like the Sears Tower, Peter? Oh no. Yeah. And the John Hancock over there. Luca. Come on, Luca. Oh gosh. Whoa. Hey. Good job. See this one's the John Hancock over here. Looks like water tower place. This is so stinking cute. There's a super big Cubs logo. So many benches. Look at you. Look at you, my little lovey dove. We got a spicy kid on our hands. Mmm. Sure thing it's a point where he's not happy, but he's yeah. eaten like seven so far. <laughs> and they're hot chips. Yeah. Like they're hot for us. Yeah. Peter's been finding like less zesty ones, but still. Jamesy boy is asleep. And Christina and Violet are off playing. It's so nice out. Such a nice evening. I think we're gonna go to Fox Shop. Christina really? wants to get some Gatorades to keep hydrated because so Christina, Grant, and Sarah all got the vaccine today. Yep, all of us. And Peter's 48 hours in. How do you feel? Oh, great. Good. Does your arm still sore? Um, that's actually new today. Where like it hurts a little bit like this, but like a little pain. Nice. Alright, sorry, man. There you go. Guess what we're about to do? <gasps> Mom and Dad are both about to give you a bath. It's been so long. Typically, we're like using our time wisely, and one of the other gives it to do it. He also is obsessed with this 266 map and he stares at it all the time. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the mirror. There's a clean babe. Yeah. <sighs> I forgot to edit guys. <laughs> So we're gonna add tomorrow. And it's late, so we got to clean them up and go to bed. With these cute jammies. It's so fresh. <laughs> Today's daily message. Ooh, it's a little bit of a long one by Og Mandino. Never neglect the little things. Never skimp on that extra effort. That additional few minutes. That soft word of praise or thanks. That delivery of the very best that you can do. It does not matter what others think. It is of prime importance. However, what you think about you. You can never do your best, which should always be your trademark. If you are cutting corners and shirking responsibilities, you are special. Act it. Never neglect the little things. Ba ba. Ba ba. Oh. This being super sweet. There's a baby boy, there's a baby. He smells so fresh and clean, no more like sweaty foot. <laughs> he didn't smell like a sweaty foot, his foot smelled like a sweaty foot. And he's got stinky feet. But that's because he's. A big old kid, a big old kid. <laughs> They've yeah, always yeah, been yeah, yeah. Stinky. stinky feet club. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. What's his voice going to sound like? Oh, he wants to eat the We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.